Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wolf Den at West Morris Central High School here in Morris County, New Jersey, for today's NJAC American Division Boys Basketball matchup between the visiting Mendham Minutemen and the host, West Morris Central Wolf Pack. We are in for a treat tonight. Sister schools, right around the same enrollment, built at a similar time. Um, Mendham was built 1970, West Morris built 1958. Um, these players have seen each other for many, many years. As they competed against everybody recreationally and then through their four years here. Mike Andrewson in the broadcast location above the floor, bringing you this game on Morris Sussex Sports YouTube channel. Be sure to stay logged in and subscribe to see more exciting local games as we move into the final weeks of the winter schedule. There was a time and place where we didn't know what was going to happen this winter with sports, but I'm glad we could get in what we could get in. A lot of teams are starting to wrap up and get to their 12th game by the end of next week, I think the, the limit is. But we have an exciting matchup, as we said tonight. Both sides battled each other in a 50-45 to 45 game at Mendham on February 6th. The Minutemen were just two games into their season as the Wolfpack made the trip down to Mendham and came away with a close five point victory. Mendham senior Sean Barrels led all scorers that night with 24 points, including a tally of four three pointers that evening. Barrels <laughs> can score. He's got 34 three pointers in last year's season for last year's totals. He's comfortable behind the arc. The Minutemen arrive tonight start of a three-game week, looking for a victory over their sister school. It's no doubt of last night's game, as this is Menham's first game of three. They'll need the strength of their two top scorers, Sean Barrels and Noah Pitt, to fill up the score sheet. In order for the Minutemen to come out on top, Coach Bill Connolly knows this Wolfpack team all too well, and he's excited to see what his rosters of, player, of players can finally do out there and get their chance to hand West Morris their first loss in a long time. The host Wolfpack entered tonight's contest with a record of 9-0 and look to keep their undefeated train moving. Wolfpack averaging 60 points in their last three wings. Wins. Coach Mark Shartner is eager to see what his players can do tonight to kind of cement their standing in the NJ.com rankings. Right now the Wolfpack sits seventh. They are the third public school ranked on that list behind Camden and Manasquan, which is for a team in this part of the state is an unbelievable accomplishment and well-deserved. There are three top seniors, Jack Loya, Ethan Stout, Christian Sevis, who all want to keep this moving, keep this season moving in kind of an undefeated train. And they're going to have to work hard tonight because I think Bendham comes in prepared. Their coach is very confident. They know they've got the They've got the firepower on their side to put it up, but Wes Morris just has an air about them. They come in relaxed. I'm watching the guys in warm-up. Just never seems like the moment 
is too big for this group. Um, guys are singing. Guys are kind of running back and forth, getting their last drinks, talking, talking to Coach Shartner. It, it never really feels like Wes Morris is, they're kind of worried about taking the L. But they're a confident team. You know, that group of seniors has played a, a tremendous amount of games together. So we can kind of see what they can do as we move into under a minute here. Guys with the whistle in control of everything tonight, Derek Creedle and Eric Eliason. Uh, the NJSA IAA has their officials appreciation week going, so we appreciate what the player, our, what the people in the stripes do out there on the court every day. They help keep this game moving. And we thank them for their efforts during these troubling times. They're out there with their masks on as well. Just about to get started. We'll give the microphone over to our public address announcer, Melvin Travis. As we will be taking a moment of silence for all the fallen COVID victims in this country. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the introduction of our tonight's starting line lines. First, for the visitors, the sophomore, number 42, Mike Hewitt. The junior, number 32, Noah Pitt. The senior, number 21, TJ Ryan. The senior, Number 12, Justin Blimford. A senior, number four, Sean Hero. And now for our West Forest Central Wolfpack. Starting at guard, a junior, number five, Zach McFarland. Starting at guard of junior, number 24, David Rinto. Starting at guard of senior, number one, Christian Stevens. Starting at forward of senior, number three, Ethan Scott. And center of senior, number 33, Jack Lenoir. Uh, the president made a proclamation on, on today recognizing the 500,000 Americans lost to COVID-19. More than uh, 500,000 Americans have now died from this virus. That is more Americans who have died in a single year of this pandemic than in World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War combined. On this solemn occasion, we reflect on the lost and on their loved ones left behind. We as a nation must remember them so that we can begin to heal, to unite and to find purpose as one nation to defeat this pandemic. So we are asking at this time if we could just rise and give a moment of silence to recognize those that have been lost. And now, our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripe and bright stars to the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rock is red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that a flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet. 
live at the Wolf Den. PA announcer Melvin Travis also doing our national anthem. Terrific to hear that song live. Great job, Mr. Travis. Terrific job. We are about to start our first possession for West Morris. Sevis, number one, Stout, three, McFarland, five, Rento, 24, La Loya, 33. For the Minutemen, Pitt, 32, Barrels, four, Ryan, 21, Ewing, 42. Beam four, 12, on the floor to start the game. Les Morris won the toss, so they get possession. Hard defense on that first possession. Farrell comes away with it, number four. Senior in the group. Noah Pitt, 32. DJ Ryan, 21. Three, four, 12. The Minutemen move it around. Farrell dribbles in, dribbles out. Three-point attempt. Uh, Ewing, no good. Sebus brings it across the logo, comes into the lane, looking for a blind pass. That ball's stolen. Pitt for three, no good. Stout grabs the rebound, hands it off to Sebus. So we're looking for our first basket. At the 6.45 mark of the first quarter. David Rento, 24, kind of the utility player, does everything that Coach Shartner wants him to do. Sebus drives to the basket, a little reverse layup, no good. Coming the other way, Barrels, spot up three. Front iron, no good. McFarland grabs a long rebound. Moves it into the offensive zone, goes to the floor, loses the ball. Barrels comes up with it. It's like he took a whack to the knee in the process. Hit. Gives it to Ewing. Davis comes up with the ball. Move it into the offensive zone. Out. Davis out beyond the arc. Looking to move inside, drives to the low block and puts it in. The six foot senior guard. Averages about 13 points a game for this team. Does just about everything. And very well. Ryan, 21, moves it around. Ewing, 42. Ryan gets it right back, goes in for the layup, no good. Rinto grabs a defensive rebound. McFarlane has the ball on the wing. McFarlane gets charged with the foul. football player in his own right, the senior. Team four, we're at the top, and them just trying to decide what they're gonna do. It's a fake shot, Barrels drives the lane for an underhanded layup. John Barrels gets the first basket for the Minutemen. Rento for three. Three, Junior, David Rento, 24, nothing but net. Puts the Wolfpack up, 5-2. Minutemen. Looking to see how they're gonna generate some offense. Here's Ewing, loses it. Stout comes away with it. There was... <laughs> That was an interesting slide tackle by P.J. Ryan, but he is an excellent soccer player. Barrels for three, <laughs> That's all five points for the Minutemen. Okay. 
Davis, nice bounce pass to Stout. Laloy is looking for it. He's on the floor in the lane. Gets it back out to McFarland. Wolfpack moving the ball very well on the offensive end. Noah Pitt picks up his first foul. Dylan Higgins checks in, number 10 for the Minutemen. Along with Sean Leonard, number four for the Wolfpack. Laloy on the low block with his right hand, no good. Pitt grabs a rebound. It's a great pass underneath. Higgins gets his own rebound, puts it back. 7-5. In favor of the visitors in their navy blue uniforms. Aloya up top. He's going to take a three. Off. Rebound by Barrels. He moves it up the court. Pitts got it. 32. Gonna take a three-pointer, no good, off the iron. Leonard grabs a rebound. And before you know it, Sevis has got it in the offensive zone. Laloya with an underhander. Tries to go in for the layup. Noah Pitt tagged for his second foul. I don't think that's something that Coach Connolly wanted. First one's good. Coleman checks into the game, 22, junior forward for, for the Wolfpack. Matt McFadden, number 15, enters for the Minutemen. Laloya knocks down the second. Tied at seven, the 241 mark. In the first quarter. I don't know what you expected here. Punch, counter punch, punch, counter punch. Higgins, number 10, loses it. See if it's all alone. Can't get the layup to fall. Coleman picks up his first foul. Davis knew it, he just kind of laid it up. Didn't have enough English to get it off the backboard to go in the hoop. Tied at seven, 2.15 in the first. Both teams sitting on two team fouls. Looked like a double dribble there. Offensive going right. Higgins goes right to the hoop. Denied. As Morris traveled there. Possession to the Minutemen under their own basket. 1 to 50 to go in the first quarter. Barrels. So right back to Ryan. Barrels a downtown three-point attempt. Over the backboard. First time I've ever seen a bounce like that off the rim over the backboard. Referees are getting together. Possession goes to Wes Morris on that. Possession arrow in favor of Mendham. Jack Laloya drives into the lane. He can't get that layup to fall. Ryan comes out with it, 21. Barrels is going to take another three. Just off the rim, he gets his own rebound, drives into the lane, throws up a teardrop. No good. Leonard grabs a rebound. Sevis on the wing, looking to set up the offense. Guarded by Beamport. Oh, Wolf 
back, looking to get the ball low to LaLoya. McFadden picks up a foul. Scout in the lane. He's going to go to the basket, switch hands, gets his own rebound. Tries to go up. P.J. Ryan picks up his first foul. And Stout goes to the line. Stout averaging just over 10 points a game this season. First one's no good. McFarlane re-enters the game, number five. LaLoya comes out. Jack LaLoya just gets a breather with 54 ticks to go. Second one's up, no good. This is both free throws. Ethan Stout shaking his head on his way back to the defensive side of the floor. Higgins, number 10. Barrels, Ryan. Beam fourth. Beam fourth, pardon me. Ryan, 21. Barrels, We're down to 22 on the clock. It's like Mendham's holding for the last shot. See if they can execute. Well, some more defense is kind of smothering right now. Higgins, Ryan, Barrels. He drives into the lane. And there's a shot by me fourth. No good. We are tied at seven. Whew. With spectators not being able to be live here at the game, we've created a way so you can feel like you're part of the action. We want to know where you are watching the game. So tweet out a photo right now of yourself with whomever you're watching this game. And we'll post your photo up during the broadcast. Whether you're in a restaurant, a dorm room, at home, or just in front of your computer. Tweet us out at Morris Sussex Sports and use the hashtag Morris Sussex Sports. Make sure we can see the screen so we know what game you're watching. Gizzy Productions is your number one source in Morris Sussex video production, game film, live stream, service, photography, and much more. Reach out to Matthew at gizzyproductions.com. Morris Sussex Sports, are you enjoying this broadcast? Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future broadcasts. And if you want your next game broadcasted with play-by-play -play commentary and all the fanfare that comes with the production, reach out to George Muha at george at morrissussexsports.com and we'll come out and do the game of your choice. Spectators not being able to watch winter sports, you're going to want to watch Morris Sussex Sports broadcast your favorite team. As we start the second, with this game tied at seven. Mendham has possession. Ooh, almost knocked away by Sevis. Farrell controls it though. Ryan. Higgins. Ryan Ford. Farrell. Sevis guarding him tight. Ryan's going to take it to the hole. And that bounce pass is stolen by Coleman. Tight defense by Wes Morris. Steve is from downtown. Oh, nails it. 16th three-point basket this season. Christian Sievis has got five tonight. Cutter. 
Higgins had it. Lost control of it. Out. LaLoya outside the arc. Off the back iron. Long shot, long rebound. Oh, there's a great play by Ryan. To corral that rebound and get it to Barrels. Back court called by the official. Didn't know if Steve has got a handle on it. comes out. Noah Pitt goes back in. Sievich drives to the lane as the ball's rolling around the hoop. Gets it to fall. Climb fourth called for the foul. His first. See if this goes to the free throw line. Count that one. We've got six this quarter. Connolly up, talking to the officials. Barking out signals to his team. And stuck on seven since they came into this quarter. Ryan, 21. Bad in 15. Four, 12. Crowd starting to pound the bleachers. Pitt gets denied. Looked like that ball was knocked away by Leonard. Higgins. Re-enters the game. Looks like we had a timeout on the floor. Thirty-second timeout. My mendum. Begin golf now. Do you find yourself bitten by the golf bug during this past season? Have you figured out your golf swing needs some help? Well, Mike Andrewson, PGA professional with the Mars County Park Commission courses, can help. Contact Mike through www.begingolfnow.com to get your swing and gear for the upcoming season and add some more fun to your game. A little game restart here, possession arrow in favor of the Wolf Pack. Mendham sitting on five team fouls at the moment. West Morris, two team fouls and up 13 to seven. 531 mark. Mendham has the ball under their own hoop. Going to see if they can create some offense. Barrels. Easy two point basket. Got Sevis up in the air and then just stepped inside. That's what Mendham needs. Laloya goes underneath, switches hands. Laloya, that's tough to stop. He's got a lot of good low post moves. Charles gets the ball back. He's fouled by Leonard. Anthony Amador comes in, number 10. Senior. Rento back on the floor. 24. Pitts got the ball. Barrels, number four. Ryan, 21. Barrels.
lot of the Westmores faithful clapping for some tough defense. And that's what they got. Higgins cuts through the lane, flashes, looks for the ball, finally gets it. Takes it in his left hand, goes into the lane. Gets Jack LaLoya moving a little bit. David Rento gets tagged for that foul. His first. Dylan Higgins on the line, sophomore, 6-1. No good on the first. No good on the second. Ball bounces out of bounds. Possession to the Wolfpack. 418 in the first half. See, just walks it up the floor. Valoya gets Noah Pitt in the air, moves right by, drives the lane. Scores. 17 9 in favor of the Wolfpack. They are doing a heck of a job on their home court. Amador, number 10. Starting the point. Higgins takes it up, throws it over. Laloya. Higgins has a basket in each quarter. He's not afraid. Dylan Higgins, sophomore, 6 1. He just gets the ball back in his hands, looking for Stout. Stout's guarded by Ryan. He takes it his own. Tries to throw cross court. Throws it over Rento's head. Zach McFarlane re enters the game. Ethan Stout takes a breather. Higgins, 10. Noah Pitt. Barrels. Higgins looking for the ball again. He's got it. Loloya guarding him outside the arc. Barrels is open for three. Takes it and cans it. Got Sevis up in the air. 17 14 in favor of the Wolfpack. Mendham with a spirited second half move here. Mendham benches up, clamming for some defense. Rento picks up his second foul. He immediately comes to the bench. Oh no, Laloya comes to the bench. Two twenty-six to go in the half. Ryan. Charles. Line four, number 12. He drives the lane, throws it out, looks to go to Ryan. Stout's got it in his hands. Rento, he's gonna take it to the low block, go right up, looks to pass it off to McFarlane. But Menham comes out with the ball. Under two minutes to go. Barrels. Ryan goes into the lane with an easy layup. Converts, and Sebas picks up his first foul of the game with a block. Leonard checks in, number four. Laloya back into the game as well. Coach Connolly looking for his matchup. As he gets McFadden back in the game, Noah Pitt comes out. McFadden, number 15, six foot one senior.
No good on the first one for Ryan. The only one, pardon me. McFarlane. Inside to LaLoya. He's going to go with his left, high off the glass. No good. Sean Barrels grabs that rebound. Coach Connolly drops his mask for a minute. Yells out a signal, puts his mask back on. Man-to-man carded tough. Wolf pack in tough man-to-man -man defense. Fadden 15. Charles has it on top at the logo. Left hand switches to his right. Looking for a cutter. Higgins 10. PJ Ryan 21. Ryan gets called for the walk. PJ Ryan, an all county MVP soccer player, playing collegially from Weston Lee University. Next fall, watched him play a game, called a game that he played in, Mendham Chatham earlier this year, scored a goal. Talented athlete. Laloya goes to the, goes to the bank. He's got six this quarter. The Wolfpack go up 19-16, 25 left in the half. Ryan. Number four, McFadden, 15. Stevens is on barrels. McFadden, 15, what's he gonna do? Pitch up his dribble. Aim four, loses control, ball's on the ground, ball's on the ground. The ball stays on the ground. Woo. 19 for West Morris. 16 for Mendham. Be back after this with some halftime stats. Thanks for listening. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major help. Like career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. Closure Cohen LLC is a law firm located in Chester, New Jersey. Although we are local, we provide legal services to businesses, entrepreneurs, governmental entities, and school boards statewide. We provide big firm quality work, but do so with a small firm feel and flexible pricing structure. Our specialties include employment law, labor relations, and commercial litigation. At Plosia Cohen, we are proud to support the local athletes in our community. Sports medicine is the care of athletes, college athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, and we see a lot of weekend warriors. At the Sports Medicine Center, we're up to date on all the latest techniques, both surgical and non-surgical treatment options for treating all sorts of injuries. It's important to make the diagnosis, make it quickly, and start the ball rolling with the treatment. If you can get an MRI done the same day of your injury, a lot of times that's gonna help get that treatment started in the right direction instead of waiting two, three weeks. I think reassurance, making the diagnosis and coming up with a good plan for that particular athlete is a very good thing. It helps to get the folks back on track and limits how discouraged they can actually be from the injury. Patient education is important. We want the patient to be part of the treatment plan and having the patient have an understanding of what their injury is, what their treatment options are, that helps them to get back to the sport that they love. 
We have doctors with all different uh, specialties within sports medicine, state-of-the-art concussion care, regenerative medicine, and then of course we have our orthopedic surgeons. If something needs to be fixed, uh, we can fix it, more than likely in a minimally invasive uh, fashion. With the arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures, we're able to do much of this surgery inside the joint without having to damage any of the surrounding tissue. It allows an athlete to return to sports much quicker. We're seeing an excellent result with regenerative medicine. Ligament injuries that would normally have taken six to eight weeks, now we're seeing two to three week recovery periods. It gives me great pleasure to be able to treat an athlete and see them succeed back on the field. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. The CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major hope. My career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. Latman, realtor with Keeneland Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. No matter how hard I worked, there was just this little bit of area of fat that I just wasn't happy with. My lower back, around my tummy, just places that no amount of exercise or diet were gonna change. Couldn't do it on my own, and the cool sculpting procedure got me what I was looking for. Cool sculpting is a patented cooling technology that targets and kills fat cells with no surgery or downtime. Your clinician will work with you to develop a treatment plan personalized to your specific fat reduction goals. Each treatment lasts as little as 35 minutes. During treatment, your cool sculpting clinician will first attach the applicator. This non-invasive procedure freezes the fat away without harming the skin. After treatment, you can immediately return to your normal daily activities. The results from cool sculpting are undeniable, but now Dr. Nussbaum and his team are taking it a step further by offering custom medical weight loss with cool sculpting. The My Cool Diet program is the first of its kind. By pairing doctor supervised weight loss with cool sculpting technology, patients will lose the weight fast and keep it off even longer. Now's the time to see a slimmer you. Take the first step and get your cool sculpting consultation today. So it's been four years since I got the Neograft hair transplant procedure done, and I look and feel good when I look in the mirror. Guys, I know there's a lot of cures out there for hair loss, but the best solution is to ask your doctor about the Neograft hair transplant. There's no linear scar, little to no downtime, and it's your own hair going back on your head, and that is amazing. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Nussbaum. If you're struggling with thinning hair or hair loss, we can help you. Visit us at MyFullHair.com. That's MyFullHair.com. The wait is over. Your connection is here. In areas all over Sussex County, Planet Network's fiber is now a reality. In Sparta, Newton, Hampton, Lafayette, Andover, Byram, and Franklin, We've begun installing high-speed fiber in these towns, and it's changing everything. Much faster, more reliable, and less expensive than your current plan. 
don't settle for slow. Planet Networks Fiber is up to 300 times faster than your cable company and up to 500 times faster than your phone company for less money. If you see one of these flyers on your door, your home is ready to be connected. If you want Planet Networks to build in your neighborhood, visit GetPlanetFiber.com and let us know. We'll build where the demand is greatest. It's a new day in Sussex County, and the internet will never be the same. Get connected at GetPlanetFiber.com. That's GetPlanetFiber.com. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Back here in the Wolf Den, West Morris Central. Probably just saw a picture of Will, the Wolf Pack's biggest fan. Nice that he got some face time on our Morris Sussex Sports broadcast. Mike Andrewson back with you here. And what a first half we had, 19 to 16, in favor of the Wolf Pack. When you look at the points per game that these teams traditionally score, West Morris up in the 58 range. Mandem in, in the 45 range, and we're at 1916. What would you expect? Christian Sevis has eight points today. Leads the Wolf Pack. Rento's got three. Valoya's got eight as well. On the other side, Sean Barrels has got 10. PJ Ryan's got two. Higgins has four. Should be a very interesting second half. Astute academics of Randolph. Let us help you crush your SAT, ACT, and stand out to college admissions counselor. Visit www.astuteacademics.com. Barefoot Rehab, special Morris Sussex Sports deal. Barefoot Rehab is offering two case study opportunities for anyone with six or more months of pain who have seen three or more doctors or therapists without any kind of permanent relief. Visit them at www.barefootrehab.com you'd like to see if you're a candidate for permanent pain relief. Gorge Point Plumbing, no job too big or too small for Gorge Point Plumbing. Contact Rich Muha at 908-339-2430 for amazing service at an affordable price. As we are back to the second half, Wes Morris takes control. Five back on the floor. Sevis, Stout, McFarlane, Rento, and LaLoya. Same for the Minutemen. Pitt back in the game with two fouls. You know, LaLoya's going right at him. Oh, nice underhanded pass there by Jack LaLoya. Finds David Rento. LaLoya felt the double team. Nice easy pass to the other box. Rento converted. Game four, barrels. Ewing, 42, he takes it low, kicks it back out. I think Ewing could be a big cog this half. Lalea picks up his first foul. Down at the pit. Ryan gets it back, 21. Game four, 12. Ewing goes out. Little running one hander. No good. Stevis, number one. Coach Shartner sets up his offense. Stout looking to go inside. Maloya spins on his pivot foot, no good. <clears throat> Pitt grabs that rebound. He's the last one in the offensive zone. Gets the ball back out to Sean Barrels. Barrels has it in his right hand. He's looking to take McFarlane on that. McFarlane deed up. Ryan switches hands, kicks it back out to Ewing, behind the arc for three. 
No good. Rento has it. Oh, you just know he wanted to shoot there. <laughs> as soon as he got the ball. Stout for three. In and, in and out. McFarland did not give up on that rebound. Ball was just knocked out by Ewing. Number 42, Mike Ewing got his hand on it. Take a three. Carl's in a great position for that rebound as he dribbles away. Beam four takes it, switches hand. There's everything but goes in. Coming the other way. McFarland for three. No good. Pitt grabs a rebound. 32. Pitt yet to get on the score sheet. Ewing goes right to the basket. Looks like Ethan Stout is down on the floor. 21-16 in favor of the home team. We're going to take a short break. We are back here at West Morris. See if Stout gets up. Trying to gingerly put pressure on that leg. Gonna walk it over to the sideline. Destination Athlete is your source for team uniform equipment and spirit wear needs. At Destination Athlete, our purpose has been building better communities through athletes. We believe sports can bring people together and teams can achieve winning outcomes when all involved have confidence in knowing they have everything they need to succeed. Visit www.destinationathletes. Gladstone Coverage Group, one size does not fit all. Contact insurance agents that understand at Gladstone Coverage. Tyler B at gladstonecoverage.com. Contact him and save today. Ewing to the free throw line. Makes the first. Gets the Minutemen to 17, their first points of the quarter. Makes the second. Leonard comes in, number four. Breathing Stout. Stevis has the ball. Probing. Wondering where he can go. Goes to the baseline, passes it out. Three point attempt. Front iron. LaLoya grabs it. He beat Noah Pitt to the spot, grabbed the rebound, couldn't convert. Noah Pitt picks up his third foul. Aloya converts on his first. Brings the lead to 22-18. Favor of the home team. Converts on the second. McFadden re-answers the game. Ewing comes out, 42. More importantly, Pitt stays in with three fouls. 
We're gonna need his offense. Madden, DJ, Ryan, 21. Barrels has it. Now guarded by McFarlane. Three point attempt, no good. Got an open look at that one. Noah Pitt trying to get on the score sheet. As the Wolfpack is kept into a big donut tonight. Good thing for the Mendham defense with Stout on the bench. They, they kind of know who they need to center their defense around. And a steal by P.J. Ryan, 21. He dribbles through some traffic, gets it into the corner. And Barrels was attempting to shoot three, but looks like he got McFarlane in the air. McFarlane second. Walsh re-enters the game, 24, the away team. 23-18 in favor of the Wolfpack, 3-53. Rento anticipates that, steals, taking it the other way. There's an easy pass to McFarlane and he converts. David Rento, Johnny on the spot, 25-18. Mendham looking for offense. And Pitts, 32, trying to shake free. If he's guarded by Rento, they have the height advantage. Turns and shoots, no good. Wolfpack coming the other way. Leonard, four, he drives the lane. Gets it to go off the glass and scores. Foul was on Sean Barrels, his first. Leonard makes it. When you can get scoring out of some different people on your score sheet, you know, McFarlane and Leonard both getting, both getting points. 28-18 at the 3.06 mark of the third. The Law Offices of Mark A. Blount, LLC, is a firm that focuses on litigation, labor, land use, construction litigation, real estate, and business transactions. Contact Mark today at mblount at bluntlawoffice.com. Michael Campanero. If you call or message Michael Campanero at 908-300-7914 or at Mikey C. Mortgage. Harbor One will waive the $400 commitment fee on your next mortgage. Montella Dumpster Rentals for exceptional customer service and always a fair price. Schedule your next dumpster with Montella Dumpster Rentals. See pricing and book at www.njdumpsterrentals.com. Back live in the Wolf Den. 3.06 to go here in the third. Mendham looking for some offense. Bill Connolly and that timeout. Brian, 21. He's going to go to the low block, take it to the hole. The ball's blocked. And Leonard dribbles off somebody's foot. Rento brings it over the half court line. Sivas down to LaLoya. LaLoya is guarded by McFadden. I think I'd take LaLoya in that matchup as he gets the shot off, but misses. Sivas commits his second foul on the rebound attempt and dribble out. Higgins checks back in. Number 10 for the Minutemen. Mendham still sitting on 18. 
Down low. Noah Pitt still looking for his first basket. Rento picks up his third foul. That's a matchup that I'm sure Coach Connolly thought they could really get the best of, having Noah Pitt and having David Rento guard him. Pitt's had some excellent chances. Converts on his first. Coleman checks in, number 22. And number three, Ethan Stout back on the floor. Makes the second. 28-20, favor of the home team. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Coleman, 22. Leonard, four, drives into the lane. That gets the ball stripped away. Minutemen take it into the offensive zone. Pitt going to try a three. What a rebound by Higgins. Held ball. Higgins went in there in the land of the trees and came out with the ball. 6-1 sophomore. Possession arrow was in favor of Mendham there. They'll hold on to the ball. 142 to go in the third. Ryan beyond the three-point arc. Barrels. Barrels has gotten Stevens in the air a couple of times looking for a block. Ryan, 21. Higgins, 10. Barrels, 4. Top of the key, picks up his dribble. Wes Morris faithful, applauding this effort on the defensive side of the ball. Barrels still has it. The talented ball handler that he is. That ball's knocked away. Mine four, number 12. Ryan, he's gonna take it. Ooh. Great idea, Higgins on the opposite side of the key. Just threw it away. McFarland checks back in the game. Stout comes to the bench. I don't know why, wondering what Coach Shartner saw. Thirty-eight seconds to go in the third quarter. Minutemen come out to trap. Timeout. Wes Morris. Woo. The Grove Gourmet Deli in Hackettstown is your go-to local breakfast and lunch gourmet delicatessen. Head over there today at 516 Willow Grove Street in Hackettstown, right across the street from the hospital, actually. Does nearly a year of quarantining have you thinking of or ready to make a move? Give Christy Doyle a call. If you're selling, she'll do a free market analysis of your home. If you're ready to buy, she has an expert team of professionals that'll be happy to help you. Visit her at ChristyDoyle.com. Rich Latman of Keenan Latman Sotheby's International Realty. For any real estate in Morris and Somerset County, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or R. Latman, that's L-A-T-T-M-A-N-N, -N, at K-L-S-I-R.com. Be sure to tweet out a picture, tweet out a selfie if you're watching this game. Send it to our Twitter account, at Morris Sussex Sports. Let us know where you're watching the game. Take a picture of your screen, and we'll see if we can get it up on our broadcast. Our great technical staff here, Vincenzo, Sebastiano, and Kyle Hunt, bringing you this game behind the scenes. As always, top-notch, top-notch. Wes Morris at 30 ticks on the clock. 
Beavis just walking. We're at 20. Looking to see what kind of offense they want to set. Mendham comes in the trap. Seavis had the ball on the ground. Ended up getting the shot in the air. Twelve, my fourth on the foul. And Sevis goes to the line. Makes his first. Mahoney and Pitt check back in for Mendham. Laloya comes to the bench as Amador ch checks in, number 10. Converts on the second one. 30 to 20, favor the Wolfpack. Pitt's got the ball in his hands. Charles throws it into the corner. The ball slipped out of his hand just a little bit. One second left in the third. McFadden. Kind of wonder if there's enough time to catch and shoot. Be on the half court line, or do you just grab it and eat it? Oh no. There's a shot. Just a little short. 30 to 20. Favor the Wolfpack. Huntington Learning Center of Morristown. There's still time to turn this school year around. The terms are right around the corner, and there's no better time or place than Huntington Learning Center in Morristown. Contact us at 973-292-9265 to learn more about how certified teachers can help your students today. If you're enjoying this broadcast and you'd like to see it at your local high school gymnasium, contact Morris Sussex Sports. We're more than happy to have your next game broadcast with play-by-play -play commentary and all the fanfare that comes with our production. Reach out to George Muha at george at morrissussexsports.com and we'll come out and do the game of your choice. With spectators not being able to watch winter sports, you're going to want Morris Sussex Sports broadcasting your favorite team. And as we are about to embark on season three, I believe, when we get volleyball starting and wrestling, it's just a multitude of high school competition you can consume on Morris Sussex Sports. And we hope to be bringing it to you for the rest of the school year. The Wolfpack forward in 11 in that corner. So just four points from Mendham. West Morris is up 30 to 20. With the position, oh, I did have the possession arrow. Now the possession arrow got changed to the Mendham side of the court. Now that ball knocked away, yes. Mendham comes away with it. Merrills, he dribbles past everybody. They're gonna need some volume scoring to cut into this lead. Ryan. Noah Pitt, if he gets hot. Oh, still looking for his first basket. Has two free throws. McFarland, number five. Leonard. See if it's a step back, three point attempt. No good. Barrels grabs another rebound. Higgins had the ball, driving the baseline. Leonard picks up his second foul. Right now, Westmore is sitting on six team fouls to just three for Mendham. Let's we'll see if that turns into a, an issue as we get later into this game. Game four. Takes it, kind of gets stuck in the corner there. See, just knocks it away. Was politicking for a call that the ball went out off the Mendham player, but wasn't successful. The 
Again, Pitt being guarded by David Rento. Underneath pass to Pitt. He finally gets his first two-point basket. 30 to 22. I mentioned that earlier. He's the leading scorer with 16 a game. They need him involved in the offense. Beloya backs him down. Looks for a pass, and that ball's knocked away. See what Mendham can do with this trip down the floor. Higgins, number 10, that ball's knocked away by Sevis. Merrills has it. Dribbles out of it. Oh, he was looking to take an NBA three there. Pitt. 540 to go in the fourth quarter. Mendham looking to chew into this eight-point lead on this possession. Ryan. Higgins, number 10, he goes into the Valley of the Trees. Can't get it to fall. Go C5, Sean, C5, Sean! As Morris calmly walks down the court. So he's clapping for the ball, looking for it. Wants to get it to LaLoya. Goes up and under. LaLoya's just got stud moves in that low block area. Ryan picks up that foul, 21. Ryan's second of the game. LaLoya on the free throw line. No good on the first. Coleman checks in, 22. For the Wolfpack. Second one's good. Mike Ewing, the sophomore, 42, back on the floor. Rento still guarding Noah Pitt, where LaLoya gets Ewing. At the top of the key, Pitt, no good. Ryan grabs a... Grabs a rebound, what he was charged on the over the back, it looks like. P.J. Ryan does a lot for this team. It's always in the mix, always in the play. And he, just, uh, just on cue, he almost steals the ball. Oh, the guys in blue thought it was theirs right next to me. Everybody stood up, thinking the ball was going the Mendham way. 4.50 to go in the fourth. Wolfpack move it up the court. LaLoya takes it right into the lane, underhanded again, no good. Ryan comes away with the rebound. Pitt. Barrels, you know Barrels just wants to shoot it. He's got the talent. Let's see if he pulls the trigger. Makes it to Pitt. Ewing, Ryan, Harrells, he's going to take it. Three-point attempt. Score that basket. His third three-point basket tonight. 31-25, favor the Wolfpack. It's about four minutes left. Sevis is out of control as he drives the lane. Barrels takes the foul on Sevis. Let's go, Mike. Sevis goes to the line. Converts. He's made all three free throws that he's attempted this half. That one's no good. Should have kept my mouth shut. Charles has it, gets it back. Let's see if he can lose his guy. McFarland playing some tough defense. Sevis is now on Ryan. Sevis has got some quick hands. That was an interesting defensive change that Coach Shortner made, putting Sevis on Ryan. Barrel, I think a little bit more talented ball handler. 
Harrell's a shooter. No good. Off the iron. Long rebound. He grabs it himself. Can't get a hold of it. Rento comes out with it. Seems like I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> David Rento does so much for this team. Gizzy Productions is your number one source in Morris Sussex video production, game film, live streaming services, photography, and so much more. Reach out to Matthew at gizzyproductions.com. That's G-I-Z-Z-I. -Z -Z Stude Academics of Randolph, let us help you crush your SAT and your ACT and stand out to College Admissions Counselor. Visit us at www. Astuteacademics.com. Mike Andrewson here with you in the Wolf Den as we are in the fourth quarter with the Mendham West Morris round two matchup. First one won by West Morris back on the sixth. 50 to 45. Right now, West Morris up 32-25. And you kind of wonder if either team is going to, if West Morris is going to get to 40. Or Mendham, oh, there's a turnover right off the what? Right off the inbound pan, inbound pass. Looked like McFarland couldn't keep a handle on it. There's an extra possession for the Minutemen. Let's see what they can do. 335. Noah Pitt drives the lane, throws it up, can't get it to fall. Maloya. He's stepping out of bounds. Trying to throw it back off of Ryan. He was out. Both teams sitting on 16 fouls at the moment. Ryan gets the inbound, barrels in the corner. Looking for help. Ewing in the corner, guarded by Laloya. Picks up his dribble. Barrel's kind of stuck in the corner. Guarded right, tough by McFarlane. McFarlane with the steal. Barrel's. <laughs> Barrel's called for the foul. And Barrel's has had a tough. Tough go of it tonight. He's looking at Christian Sevis. He's looking at Zach McFarlane. Get in there. Two guys that just got in his grill. But Burles is talented. He knows where to get his shot. He's got three three-pointers today. <laughs> McFarlane makes it happen on that first free throw. Ewing comes to the bench. Marty, 22. Sean, five. Marty Mahoney, number five, come in, came in. Second one's up. That one's good. McFarlane's got four points. Ryan, 21, guarded by Sevis. Noah Pitt, he goes up. Oh, Looks like David Rento picks up his fourth foul. It looked like all three of them, Rento, LaLoya, and Pitt went up on that. Rento picked up the foul. Pitt since his first free throw. Higgins checks back in, number 10 for the Minutemen. Leonard comes in, number four for the Wolfpack. Count the second one for Pitt. 34 27, favor of the Wolfpack. It's a long pass. The McFarland, he's got it. Like Mendham looking for a quick trap. They know they need the ball. 
Loya underneath, three on one. Rento. He takes it into the low box and travels. 34 27, favor of the Wolf Pack. The Minutemen have the ball. The possession arrow in their favor. Both teams sitting on seven team fouls. 220 going to fourth. Hit at the top. You got Rento up. Three point attempt was just off. Rento gets charged with the foul before the shot went up. Referees are just confirming that Rento has been disqualified and from five fouls. Barefoot Rehab, a special Morris Sussex Sports deal. Barefoot Rehab is offering two case study opportunities for anyone with six or more months of pain and who have seen three or more doctors or therapists without permanent relief. Visit them at www.barefootrehab.com if you would like to see if you're a candidate for permanent pain relief. Two oh eight to go. Wolf pack up 34-27. It goes to the free throw line. Short on the first one. The Wolf Pack have kept him down, that's for sure. Twenty one Ryan charged on the foul. Anthony Amador checks in, number 10. Number five, Marty Mahoney re-enters the game for the Minutemen. Sevis goes to the free throw line. Ball just gets over the front iron into the net. Gets the Wolfpack to 35. Six, great stroke. See, this has got five this half. All on free throws. Yeah. Ryan called on that push off. With the forearm. And Ryan's starting to trying to plead his case. So Ryan exits the game. Mike Ewing, 42, checks in. 150 to go in the fourth. Westmore is sitting on eight team fouls. Mendham sitting on nine. Possession arrow in favor of the Minutemen. Westmore is trying to stay one of the 23 unbeaten teams in New Jersey and keep their number seven ranking in the NJ.com poll. As they are the third public school team in that ranking behind both Camden and Manasquan. Laloya, he misses. You give Jack Laloya that play 10 times, he's gonna make nine of them. Miss Morris did a great job breaking the pressure, just couldn't convert. 139. Here's a three-point attempt. 
off the back iron barrels. Jack Laloya grabs that rebound like he owned that basketball. In the trap. Plus Morris moving it around the floor. Trying to drain some clock. Amador, Laloya, McFarland. Sevis. Team four tried for the steal. The 103 mark, Sevis goes to the line. Trying to extend his lead. Sinks the first one. Count the second one good. Got five points this quarter, all from the free throw line. Brian Walsh, 24, into the game. Noah Pitt, spot up jumper, no good, just not his night. Leonard, Maloya, McFarlane. We hear the Mendham coaches calling out no fouls, they just want pressure. McFarlane, Leonard, see if Wes Morris can pass this one out. The final 29. Laloya. <laughs> Tyler Cilio, number one, junior, comes onto the floor. Brian Jamer, number three. Gabe Tashi, 23. Frank Cortelli, number 11, on the floor. Laloya comes to the bench. Coleman on the floor, 22. Wes Morris for the final 15. Wes Morris with another workmanlike effort tonight. Davis dribbles it out. <laughs> he had a doozy tonight. On behalf of our producer, Vincenzo Sebastiano, and our camera operator, Kyle Hunt, along with the technical support of Gizzy Productions, this is Mike Andrewson thanking you for tuning in today for Morris Sussex Sports Broadcast. Our final score, West Morris Central 38. Mendham 27. Keep an eye out for all future schedule of games all week long on Morris Sussex Sports because they are the place for high school competition in Northwest New Jersey. Subscribe to their YouTube channel and you'll see. Enjoy the rest of the week, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>